Philip, we're just a couple of blocks from where that horrible accident happened. And to Jonathan Craig, the Good Samaritan, who put his hands in those flames when that car was burning to pull a victim out. Sir, I'm sure you're watching Eyewitness News at this hour. I have two words for you, heroic and brave. As for how this horrible accident unfolded, authorities believe illegal street racing played a factor. The crash seen horrific, a Challenger and a Corolla colliding, leaving mangled wreckage and two people dead. The fiery crash happening around 12.30 this morning at Rancho Vista Boulevard in 11th Street West near the Antelope Valley Mall in Palmdale. I realized the car was going to explode. Jonathan Craig rushing to the scene, shocked by the sight of the wreckage. He then attempted to pull one of the victims out of the burning Corolla. I heard a woman yell that there was someone in the fire. I'd went up further the embankment to see if it was true. I had saw someone in the flames. I told him to get back. I came around. I took off my apron and I started pulling him from the fire. Um, at that time, I was struggling. The flames were getting stronger. Sadly, despite Jonathan's life saving efforts, the victim he pulled from the wreckage died. I'm not surprised by this. I know. I, I knew it was like it was going to happen sooner or later, and it happened today. And unfortunately, two people lost their lives today. Juan Zamora says he works the overnight shift and sees people speeding on this stretch of roadway all the time, and he's always been concerned about a tragedy like this unfolding. It's bad. It's bad. Something the cops have to get involved like soon. soon. The Challenger was traveling at a high rate of speed. It de did rear in the Corolla, causing the, Corolla, or the, the uh, Corolla to lose control, and then the Corolla was pushed into a light pole. At that point, the Corolla did burst into flames. The driver of the Corolla, as well as the passenger, were deceased at impact. Uh, the driver of the Challenger did flee the scene, and we do not have identification on that person. Authorities believe the driver of the Challenger managed to flee his mangled car and get away in another vehicle. Detectives say it appears illegal street racing could have been the culprit in this tragedy. There is an indication that street racing was involved in this situation, yes. Let me clarify that. Not both of these vehicles were involved in the street racing. Uh, we do believe that the uh, Challenger was involved in street racing. However, the Corolla was not. Detectives are on the hunt for that hit-and-run driver. They do not have an ID on this suspect. They do not know what vehicle that suspect fled in, but they could certainly use your help. If you know anything about this tragedy, if you can help them nab that suspect, call your local sheriff's department agency. And Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.